We know as AI moves from the cloud to the age, it's reshaping industries. So the first questions we would like to ask Dr. Chen. In your view, who defines this new era of age computing and agentic AI? What are its key features? Can you share with us your viewpoint? Sure. I've heard a lot of um, agentic AI and uh, age computing. And it's covered two important directions and it, it's happening in, in the a AI community. For example, the first about the cloud to a age. AI model right now is the downsizing to, to be a, um, runnable on age devices. For example, DeepSeek and also like uh, Google's Gemma. Another important direction is about the language model applications and not just limited to chatbot. It can be more powerful, we call it the agent. What does it mean about agent? It means in addition to understand your questions, agent actually can um, perform task end to end without too much human intervention. So it's more exciting, for example, if you would like to buy something, you can ask, uh, give agent budget and for agent to, uh, and also some uh, items of, of, of products and, and they can make a plan and the execution. And the important thing is that agent even can invent the algorithm. Just to give you a quick example, just happening two days ago, uh, Google's Alpha Evap announced important events. It can in invent an advanced algorithm to resolve difficult problems. And for example, they improve uh, data center performance. They improve the design of GPU, something like this. So um, another important, uh, based on uh, a, uh, agentic AI, I would like to say AI will make age device smarter and powerful. So this is probably you guys are here because uh, Advantix have very good experience and, and uh, right now build a very successful platform, something like we'd like to share later on. But I will quote something is quite useful, important. Gonna just say, like uh, by end of the uh, next year, 80% of software will embedded uh, with AI. We call it the embedded AI. And it, you can expect most of the embedded AI probably will happening and running on age device, not living to a uh, phone, uh, probably is, um, like a, a PC, um, maybe kiosk. Uh, with more powerful and intelligent service going forward. Yes, and so the next question is for Casey. Uh, based on Dr. Chen's insight on embedded AI, we are curious that what opportunities do you see for advantage in this space? Okay, first, uh, really nice to meet uh, everybody here. <clears throat> Starting this year, Advantage decided to communicate with our market with a new corporate slogan, <clears throat> that is, age computing and white age in action. This is due to the clear trend that uh, the industrial AIoT market is strongly growing toward AI-driven business model. So everything comes to AI. <clears throat> the slogan represents Advantex determination, sorry, Ad Advantex determination to be a leading provider of age computing hardware, plus our multi-stack software platform, the white age. The hardware and software building block will be in action and driving the industrial AI applications together. According uh, to an, uh, an analysis from ChatGPT, uh, the age computing and the industrial AI market is expected to reach US dollar 500 billion by 2034. That is uh, 10 years later. So it's a huge market, and the market have, will have a CAGR, common annual growth rate of up to 24%. So this is an amazing growth opportunity for Advantech and all 
adventure eco partners. Adventure plan to put our focus on top five B2B vertical industries. They are, as shown on the screen, intelligent factory, means manufacturing, then energy and utility, <clears throat> then intelligent system and AMR, intelligent healthcare and smart city and iRetail. Advantage business plan is to offer a complete but a flexible building block solution for industrial AI system integrators. Our complete portfolio of edge computing hardware showing on the right and left hand side, and plus the multi-stack software platform White Edge showing the, the right hand side offers easy integration and accessibility benefit for system integrators. White Edge, the multi-stack software platform, offers three levels of software stack. Level one is H-Sync API containers. Level two, H-Sync, sorry, and fourth one is uh, device driver containers. Level two is uh, H-Sync API containers. And level three is white IoT application modules. <laughs> okay, thank you, Cassie. Uh, it's so exciting to hear about advantage strategy in this growing market. We are really excited. And now let's move on to the challenge of uh, bringing AI into the real world, into yeah. reality. We can see many companies still find it hard to scale AI. So this question is for Dr. Jen. Um, what are the biggest barriers and opportunities for a B2B and a B2C uh, organizations adopting uh, H computing and agentic AI from your point of view? Can you share with us your observation? Before I answer questions, I'll probably quickly, uh, quickly introduce myself. <laughs> uh, 35 years ago, my PhD dissertation is about the language modeling. <laughs> and I was a Google uh, the first generation engineer directors responsible for search engine. These are two very sensitive uh, wording because uh, you guys probably believe language model we are killing <laughs> search engine going forward. But the two things actually can be uh, put together. So regarding to uh, your questions, it's so important. Uh, when we like to scaling up uh, the AI in the real world, uh, as Papa Jensen mentioned about the physical AI or age AI, it's more important to integrate with the real world knowledge, including the hardware and software knowledges. So there are two different uh, challenges. One is about the technology tra challenge, another is about the ecosystem. For technology challenge, the important thing is about uh, chip performance, because uh, AI model consume a lot of computation. But the good thing is the media uh, tech uh, just uh, share the vision, say like uh, in the future, so the, the age performance in terms of chip performance will be double in two, uh, the performance will double in two, every two years. And also a lot of uh, hardware software integration going forward. And so it's, it's important to have a certain uh, domain knowledge like uh, advent, uh, already built up. Uh, uh, not just how I experience, how I perform, also a lot of vertical domain, something like this. So I'm seeing this kind of integration effort and the require a lot of integration, especially the ecosystem to be extended. And, and also uh, in the ecosystem, people uh, uh, probably can see the uh, very fast progress. Uh, another progress I'd like to mention, uh, Microsoft and the Google, Simon Taylor just announced there are 30% codes are generated by AI right now. It's, it's also built up the ceiling for, for the, every industry to improve our coding quality and something like this. All this kind of effort uh, require a lot of integration, uh, both B2B and B2C, uh, hardware so integration, and to happening in the real world. So this is probably a bit sharing. 
Thank you, Dr. Chen. And now let's return to Casey. Um, based on the challenges Dr. Chen just mentioned, we are curious that how does Advantech building an HAI ecosystem across upstream and downstream partners? Okay, as I mentioned in my previous talk, Advantech can offer complete solution to build up your on-site private server and the industrial age solutions to work with external cloud and uh, AOM. The on-site private server will keep users' private data to be fully isolated from public cloud. This should be a critical and uh, for security purpose, uh, a critical requirement for industrial users like a factory or a hospital. Also, the private server provides AI agent function. The vertical focused AI agent with pre-trained domain knowledge will, will be available to further enhance the power of vertical domain AI solutions. This kind of ecosystem will bring industrial AI solution to another level of intelligent power and uh, the future value. Next, next page. Next. With my last page, I would like to talk more about the ecosystem for industrial AI solutions. At Ventech, is uh, the infrastructure, is the building block provider for software and hardware plus the edge server. Both customer and event tech need to co-work with system integrators. Usually they are regional because uh, they need to work with customer on site. And maybe also need to be domain focused. <clears throat> Then the next ecosystem should be the cloud provider and the industrial agentic AI provider. Cloud provider is now really mature, like Microsoft, uh, Google, and uh, AWS. They are very, very mature. And we foresee the, agent, uh, the domain and the industrial uh, AI provider for each domain will be available in the coming future. Now it's still not so much, but uh, it's coming. The current ecosystem is ready to enable your, your, your general requirement. But the uh, more advanced uh, applications can be added on by step in the, in the future. So uh, for age, age or uh, intelligent system, uh, I think the implementation can be uh, start step by step. Now is the time to start. Taking this opportunity, Advantech would like to invite our worldwide SIs, vertical knowledge cloud provider, and the specialized application software provider to join this ecosystem in order to advance the overall business model to a mature stage. Thank you, and let me, let's be in action to advance the industrial AI world. Thank you, Casey. Thank you for your introduction. Uh, it, it's clear that building a strong ecosystem is really important, especially in the AI era. And now let's look ahead. Uh, Dr. Chen, based on the potential of vertical AI models, which industries do you believe shows the most promise? And as we move toward agentic AI, what are the key steps to make it truly actionable in the real world? I just chatted with GPT. 
The answer is every industry. Every industry. <laughs> <laughs> but my answer would be a bit different. Uh, I'm still uh, not hundred percent trust the uh, chat GPT and you know, AI model. But I know maybe uh, tomorrow uh, will be changed, right? And um, right now, um, the AI model is so good at reading. Uh, the performance of reading computation is much better than most of human beings. Um, People probably don't know, like uh, right now, the AI scientists have set up a new benchmark to test the AI, so-called human's last exam. It's HLM. 1,000 scientists have created uh, 2,000 uh, 2, problems for AI, and the, the problem only one or two human scientists can resolve. But very unfortunately, only one month. 20% of the problem have been resolved by AI. So I cannot say which industry will be impact on eventually, but I would like to share the important industry right now should be take action immediately. For example, like industry automation, for example, like healthcare, just, just Casey mentioned. For example, if you kiosk right now, embedded with a smaller LLM, but the kiosk can listen to uh, the user's questions. And with AI knowledge, they can interpret the original database and, and respond to user's question. It's become more powerful and smarter. Just embedded with AI, smaller model with kiosk. It's changed a lot. So the answer could be like, any industry with tax in eventually can tax out very smarter. And going forward, probably voice in and we'll generate voice out. For a lot of industry, uh, so called hand free, um, you, you probably um, uh, in, in the environment cannot type in, but you can speak like in the medical uh, environment, and doctor can speak, and the AI can listen and then create a medical report quickly and have a lot of the improved the workflow. The only thing to do is to embed it with the existing system or equivalent with some voice input and voice output combined with the AI embedded. So um, in the industry, a lot of new agent protocol is developing. One of very successful protocol called MCP you can use NCP to embed the existing agent to combine together and running on certain uh, computing environment. This is why we call age computing. Why we need age, not just the crowd. Because in some application, we, are, we need a real-time response. In some uh, environment, we don't have an internet connection. And some most of the industry, they should protect and control the data without leaking. So important things like anything happening in on the age help the industry to move faster and faster. This is my feedback. Thank you to Dr. Jen and thank you to Casey for your wonderful insights with us. Thank you.